Oh, now it started. Howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here. <laughs> Having one of those days. Anyway, I just got my art studio done and a creative space. And I wanted to show you guys. I did it with my um, tablet and I wasn't really happy with it. So we'll start with this. I wanted to start, we'll start obviously on this end. You see where I have some art supplies and stuff. Or not some art, office supplies, binder clips, that kind of stuff. I just have some miscellaneous stuff right here. Let me show you. I use this. That's my dog, Charlie. Charlie. Charlie, look at me. Hi. What are you doing, big beluga? Um, my cat litter bo bucket is um, just for trash. I, I redid these three drawers, so I have like all of my um, acrylic pour paint and stuff down here. Morris Art Supply, of course, paint markers there. I like using, oh, this is, I really like this um, palette, but I don't use it that often because it's awfully big. But the lid completely snaps on. Uh, so that's really nice. It used to come with kind of um, um, a foam mat that kept everything wet, but that, you know, left a long time ago. I like these bottles. I fill these with acrylic paint and you see how fine tip they are. It's really nice for doing really intricate work. Of course, I use this to put my paint brushes in. Um, I'll empty it out once a week. I put a little bit of fabric softener, a little bit of dish soap, and a dash of salt and more water. And um, these are some pictures that I'm kind of, you know, messing around with that I might work from. There's my jarred head, which I call my ex-husband. Um, you know, miscellaneous stuff. Um, these two paintings I'm going to make into magnets and probably put up for sale. I've got these drawers here with more art supplies, like the little bottles. You know, there and stuff. Of course, there's all the paint brushes, a couple things of mints. Gum, chapstick, vape, um, tablet, which yes, I got a little bit of paint on, <laughs> um, incense, homemade, homemade incense, incense burner, I have another one I use up there. This is a piece of work I'm using, I'm kind of messing with right now, and a painting, finished painting below. This actually is a great big very long easel solid I just have it collapsed right now and then I have these two bin you'll see up here on top there's a finished painting and then also these condiment bottles I'm going to be pre-mixing paint for acrylic pores in and labeling and and covering so and then flow trial you know um, liquided spray adhesive some different kind of um, palette services I use um, down below there you see glues Mod Podge uh, gesso tempura paint spray varnish then this is my main body of acrylic paints I use for my classic painting and you know you'll see the texture the texture paste and iridescent and in the heavy gel medium matte bigger tubes of paint, small tubes, medium tubes, all of that. Um, down below here you see my sewing machine, um, canvases, more canvases, um, and more art supplies like cups for, for doing that, more canvases, bags, a tote full of art supplies. Um, this box here has got some acrylic pores that I'm I'm working on making into something um, then you have the closet here there's no closet doors didn't come that way there's pet cremains there there's a lot of finished work up there help a girl out and buy some there's some some um, wreaths that I'm working with a couple more pet cremains there uh, empty box um, the cat litter box cat carrier cat litter there's the trays I use for the acrylic pores some paintings on top I still need to list from last week um let's see over on this side 
behind the door here there's that um, is in that bag are some uh, picture frame blank picture frame this tote here has um, albums and pictures in it this one has different um, surfaces to paint on and blank picture frames and some like rice paper that kind of stuff a lot of drawing paper um, up on the walls a couple of 5d's I've done and a sign I just really like those two big pieces roll of paper are actually multi-purpose um, let's see I'd have to look watch out next next gotta move baby next you got to move boo boo next move baby uh, I'd have to look I bought this it was really really good size is a multi-purpose 60 inches by 10 yards each one um, let's see multi-purpose 116 pound uh, bone finish uh, easy surface uh, pen and ink uh, light washes charcoal so yeah I have, it's a 90 pound um, I have two of those of course and this is the first this is a um, first dress canvas a lot more painting my two great big portfolios are behind here that are around full drawing boards and uh, some more big um, like clear plastic palettes um, different painting surfaces this painting you see here from junior high um, then of course there's looms and stuff this is the one hard shelving unit I did keep a variety of different stuff on it of course a lot of hoops there my gorilla my um, uh, ruffle sachet yarn that box up there has um, ribbon uh, embroidery ribbon in it and then of course let me stand back this is what you guys really came to see which was this great big cabinet here We'll start on this side. You can obviously see there's yarn um, and sewing stuff, horror prop, the air conditioner. I have two cabinets that are just like all like office type stuff, envelopes, bill paying stuff, important papers. I have uh, ribbon embroidery and uh, cross stitch stuff. In some, I have. Uh, my um, 5D stuff in one. I have it all divided into specialty yarns and ouch, variegated. Ow, damn. Sorry, my leg hurts. See, I just kind of now I'll put it in there neater, but I was in a hurry, so that's just kind of how how that went. Um, but let's see, like this one. I know that one's not very neat. <laughs> this one's a neat one. <laughs> like that um, and uh, so I have all the craft basically for the most part are in there uh, yeah for, for my horror props and um, there in back you see that pumpkin on top all back there is uh, holiday decorations and then in front here ow, is this very bottom tote has got candle oils and um, some wicks in it. Right beside it, that priority box is, is a whole box of wicks with um, the uh, centerpieces and um, uh, all kinds of uh, embeds you would put in candles. Um, also, some blank uh, stick incense and cone incense. This bag here obviously has um, finished. Uh, hats and stuff that, that I have for sale. <clears throat> so anyway, that's the whole gif of the room. I know it, it is small. Um, I also, I have a whole drop cloth on this whole section. Uh, you know, because acrylic pouring and painting in general can be quite messy. And um, so, yeah. I like to protect stuff. And, um, but, uh, took me longer than I wanted because you know you kind of get hurting and stuff but I got it done 
and um, I'm going to be having fun here. Like I said, one whole side of the room is just for art, and then the other side is where I can find everything now. So, um, you know, uh, it was worth it. There's 27 cubicles in this room. Brad has nine in the bedroom. And um, I'm going to put four in the front room. We have not rearranged the front room yet, but we will. So I'm going to do my regular video here in a minute and then upload this one. And I love you guys, and I'll talk to you in a few minutes. Bye.